What's up guys? I hope you like that little intro video I just put together. I figured it was about time to make something like that. So I just picked up some more bullets from Hammer. These are the 90 grain 277 caliber. So these are for my 6.8 SPC. Um, I loaded these up in my 20 inch 6.8 because right now my 16 inch is set up for coyote hunting and I don't really want to shoot any other bullets through it at the moment. So you can see here the 6.8 SPC. I loaded up with this 85 grain Barnes data. And I was using CFE Black, so max load, 30 grains, 3,097 feet per second. So this is from a 24-inch barrel. From my 20-inch barrel, I did get 3,090 feet per second. Um, now that data is based on 6.8 SPC 1-spec chamber, Why I have an ARP chamber, which is sort of like a 223 wild. It's in between spec 1 and spec 2 chambers. Now I was going to do a video of me shooting targets, and I was like, you know what it's gonna be boring and long so i'll just show you the target quick so my first three shots were one two and three then i added the magneto speed to the gun and i shot these two and then two more into the gel um so magneto speed definitely threw the grouping off but uh take a quick little measurement of this grouping so it's kind of a perfect little triangle just really just at an inch you could say a touch under an inch but we'll go with an inch so the first shot in the gel the camera did not record so i took a second shot into the gel which also served to uh, show some consistency of the bullet so let me show you the gel and then we'll do an analysis All right, guys, so this is that first block right here. The uh, 90 grain hammer hunters came in this way. So they start to open up right at two inches. We got right about six inches right in here is where all these petals start to break off. And then I would say right at the 12 inch mark is where they most of them stopped. Um, this one big pedal here is from a different bullet. Um, I get limited on time when I'm shooting gel at my hunt club, so I took a shot into these blocks with the uh, 308, the 125 grain cavity back MKZ bullet. Um, I'll show you that wound track in a second to show you a little comparison between that and the uh, 6.8. And here are the two bases. They stopped pretty much, you know, even with each other. There is one pedal here that is from that 90 grain bullet. I believe this pedal here is also from them. So they did carry two pedals into this next block. So we are at pretty much perfectly 22 and a half inches with both of those bullets. Um, so it's a little bit hard to tell exactly what was going on when these pedals broke off. It's just a mess of pedals in there, but definitely would be de devastating on an animal. Um, now here, this is the block I shot the 85 grain cutting edge bullet into. So see the cutting edge, those pedals broke off immediately and just veered outwards. They seem much smaller compared to that hammer bullet where they broke off a little bit later and they seem to stay more along with the main wound tract. Now, if you look closely here, you know, that's these wound tracks here. It's so much easier to see it with your eyes, but you know, as the pedals broke off there's still a decent wound channel from the base um now the cutting edge base definitely left a very large wound channel but i think it was traveling a lot faster since the pedals broke off nice and early um but anyway so like i mentioned i did shoot 308 into the same block it got pretty damn close to the uh the 90 grain hammer hunter there but if you look the wound track is pretty similar in size 308 opened up a little bit quicker, but it has a much larger hollow point. Now the cavity back is supposed to hold on to its three pedals, but since I was pushing it at 3,150 feet per second, it did shed the pedals. One shot out there. I mentioned this one big one is from the cavity back. It's easy to tell because it's way larger than all the hammers. And then the one down there is also from that one. So I'm going to show you from this angle. Um, you can tell. Let me get this set up. This is the 308. You can see, if I can get the focus, the three pedals, how that bullet opens up, where these two hammers kind of just, it's just like a star pattern. They kind of just blow up. Um, 
either way kind of interesting to see how the uh you know those little 90 grain 6.8 bullets do pretty devastating amount of damage compared to you know the 308 bullet but these blocks are super tough so i think the wound tract is actually smaller than it would be in live tissue um i think the pedals would probably penetrate further in an animal too because this these blocks are good at representing muscle but when it comes to the internal organs you know lungs are full of air the heart you know is full of blood it's not one solid block of gel like this so even the uh you know this cutting edge bullet i believe you know these pedals would travel further i did just shoot a coyote with these bullets uh, like two weeks ago and um they passed through the whole animal one actually went up through the spine so i think in a live animal they will perform different so i'm gonna probably next try to test these guys out at 300 yards like i did with the 308 and then move on to some meat targets and kind of see how they perform in a more organic type of material not just gelatin but like all right i'm gonna dig out these bases now we'll uh, take a couple measurements and check them out all right guys here are those two bases pretty much identical now one was front forward and one was um first so one of them did tumble so what do we got 45 grains so it fragmented a perfect 45 grains 44 grains so pretty much 50 percent weight retention now these look like they might be just slightly wider than bolt diameter Yeah, 294. So it started at 277. Oh, right about three. So they do have that nice flat base or a face on them like they're supposed to. Sure, this one's going to be the same, but we'll look at it real quick. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. So overall, pretty impressive. So just some more tests on these and the. Uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.